foliage is beginning to peek out across central New York as leaves in some spots are changing from green to yellows, oranges and reds. And that's because of some cooler weather periods we've had over the past several weeks. But we also saw a frost earlier this week. And how does the frost affect the leaves as they begin to change color? Well, it can actually cause cell damage in the leaf, leading to some brown areas as the leaves essentially die off. The frost can also cause early leaf drops. Some trees may shed their leaves before they even change color at all, or the colors on the leaves may be a little bit more muted because of that frost. The frost also causes a tree response. It tells the tree that winter is on the way and it starts the color changing process earlier than usual. So that's why these cooler weather periods we've had has begun that change. So what kind of weather do we want for the perfect fall foliage viewing season? Well, a rainy summer helps to retain the leaves on the trees. So we have the maximum amount of leaves cover on it, and that's because the rain keeps the tree healthy. A sunny fall leads to more sugar production in the leaves, which is what changes that color. Shorter days initiates that and warm days also helps as well. Cool nights shrinks the veins on the leaves, keeping that sugar or bright colors within the leaf. What we don't want is summer drought because then the leaves die off faster. A cloudy and rainy fall leads to less sugar production. Strong wind blows the leaves off the trees. High heat and hard frost can also damage the leaves. And even though we're seeing some signs of fall, the I Love New York first official fall foliage report isn't released in until September 12th, which is about a week away. Reporting on the Weather Deck, I'm meteorologist Violet Skyber.